Welcome back. So now we will start working on the most important part of this project, which is responding to the user, responding the chatbot response. So how can we let the user, how can we let the chatbot respond to the user? Well, as soon as the user sends a message, we want the chatbot to, we want it to respond immediately to the user. So where can we do that? To do that here, as soon as the user here, as soon as the message has been sent, we want also to call another function that's gonna let the chatbot send a message. So here I'm gonna create a uh, I'm gonna create a function here called here function and it's gonna be called chatbot response. And uh, I'm gonna pass the user message. I'm gonna say here user message. And here I'm gonna call this function. I'm gonna say here chatbot response because we want the chatbot to respond to the user immediately. So here in the chatbot response, what we want to do is that we want to send a message. We want to send a message to the user. And for now, I'm just gonna echo what the user is, uh, is sending. So for example, if the user sends hi, I want, I want the, the chatbot to, to respond with the same exact message, just for the sake of testing and also to show you how you can create a very simple chatbot like this. So what I'm gonna do here is that I am going to say, here I'm gonna create, I'm gonna repeat the same exact thing here because we want to display a message here but this time a message that has been sent by the chatbot. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna do here, uh, here what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna create a message, I'm gonna say var message element, and that message element again is gonna be equal to document, and then create element, and then I'm gonna say dev, dev, and I'm gonna display the user message because we want to echo what the user is gonna, see, is gonna say. So I'm gonna say message element, dot inner html and the inner html is just going to be the same it's just going to be a span but this time the span is not going to say you this time the span is going to be chatbot it's going to be chat what and then i'm going to say plus and then in a new line in a new line i'm going to say span and then span again and then in between, I'm gonna say plus plus, and then I'm gonna echo what the user is gonna say. So here I'm gonna say user message. And then I'm gonna, here I'm gonna, I'm going to say chat container that append, because we want to append the message, I'm gonna say chat container append, uh, append child, and then I'm gonna send the message, the same exact message. Let me now save and let's head on over to the browser to test. So in the browser now, let me refresh and let me type a message. I'm gonna say hi. If I say hi and send, the chatbot immediately is gonna say the same exact thing. If I say welcome, welcome and click on send, the chatbot is immediately going to respond with welcome. If I say, uh, how, how are you? Let me send the chatbot is gonna just say the same exact thing. So this is the logic behind uh, letting the chatbot respond to the user.